All right, guys, welcome back to another video here on the John Doc YouTube channel. We are in LS Nasty headquarters. Stuff is getting done. Very productive week. And uh, I got a, some some goodies over here for the Colorado. I got to get some hardware. We're going to do a video. We have, I think, almost all of the hardware to wrap the Colorado build up. And then we just got to get it wired. And then we are good to go. So for everyone that's been begging, man, finish the Colorado, finish the Colorado. I've been waiting on a few pieces that have been on back order. One of my buddies, Jacob, had some, had the exact piece, and uh, he sent it to me, so I'm using it. And when I get mine in, I'm gonna send it back because his is anodized black, and mine is just standard raw aluminum. So if you guys can think real hard, or maybe you caught a sneak peek of it in the background, you'll know what I'm talking about. But the Colorado build is very close to completion, and I am so excited to fire it up. Uh, the guys at TND Machine Products, they have one of my Frankenstein heads and they made a custom set of rocker arms for it and they're going to be sending them back with that head. Uh, Kevin is putting together a badass 460 inch LSX uh, blower motor for the Colorado and it should be pretty sweet. And Phil's over here sweating. Yes. Why are you sweating, Phil? Because my assistant can put headers up so later. Nah. Oh God! That was, that, was, eBay, that was cold. eBay headers on this damn Silverado, and it's not going really You're telling me eBay headers don't fit well? You're telling me that in performance parts, you get for what you pay for? You're telling me that's an actual thing? You're telling me that there's a difference between the fifteen hundred dollar headers Except for and turbos? The, lies. That's a lie. That's not a lie. Oh, all right, Phil. Maybe the VS Racing one's the only cheat. But no Chinese, no Chinese turbo is making the power we make on the black sheet. Lock in. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Chinese turbos, because I do enjoy a good China boy. Does Vios Racing make like a 102? I think they're making like a 114. Okay. Are you gonna are you gonna try it out for size? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Nah, because I ain't got the money to pay for a motor. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I think I'll swing the rods out on the chip. Yeah. You'll be like, cool, let's start I'm like, watch this, just bottom end delete. Yeah, it's pretty much just like bottom end is all I got for. Oh my god, he's lying. And we got 17 race cars. Yeah, if I sell like the 240 to Civic. Got him. Tahoe, the trailer. No, the no. Yeah. You sell the 240 and the Civic, and you can build you a, a Forge bottom end. You can go out there and go. Just the bottom end? You can build your Forge motor. Mm. You can go out there and run Forge. You can go out there and run 470. Yeah, we try to run Forge on the stock bottom end. Idiot. Capizzi, I'm coming for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what we're talking about in this video, the black sheep oh, sorry i don't know why i keep calling this a black sheep it's got the black sheep motor this is the silverback z06 sporting one of the black sheep bottom ends so kevin and the guys up at tkm are going to be offering packages very shortly on just like full dressed out bottom ends and complete motors they're going to have everything set up online where you can go through and literally look at the differences see the different price breakdowns see the different horsepower ratings and you can pick and choose what you need anything from a thousand horsepower to two thousand plus Kevin and the guys at TKM are going to have breakdown. So whether you need something that you want filled solid, that you're going to run on the racetrack, something you just want a badass, you know, 1,800 horsepower street car or something, just to throw into your hot rod truck, they have it all. So be on the lookout, TKM Performance. Kevin and the guys out there are making some big changes and some major strides and really forward thinking. So as you guys can see, Ben has been working very hard on the Silverback Z06 here, putting the interior back in, and a lot of stuff goes into this. Ben, how much stuff goes into this that people have no idea about? You guys understand the time it takes just to get the fit and finish and everything looking good. And that is what he has been doing. A lot of wiring underneath here. You guys need to send Ben some knee pads. Go on Amazon and send Ben some knee pads because he's been working here, kneeling on the damn hard ass floor. He's had it up on the lift, off the lift. And this is really kind of his, I think this is his specialty is just the fit and finish, making sure everything looks good. Under the engine bay, looks absolutely awesome. You guys have heard this before, and uh, this car sounds absolutely insane. I don't know why there's a dollar bill here. It's like Ben's tip jar. And here you go. Thank you for all your hard work, sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so this is really where Ben shine. I mean, Ben, you saw him, he was welding up the exhaust for the damn Charlie Murphy. He does it all, but this thing, this right here is where a lot of people, uh, they rush and you can't rush this. As you can see, everything is all zip tied up, it's all clamped, it's all fastened, everything is where it needs to be. I mean, and this stuff just takes time. I mean, it really does. Are you getting ready to start it up? Yeah. Right now. One thing I will say on this car, which is probably the coolest, is how the front end sits. This TRZ out off front end sits the tire in a little bit. We're on the strange brakes, strange front coilovers. Sits absolutely awesome. This car rocks, so. 
Uh, you got brakes? Yeah. Alright, so what are you going to do here when you fire it up? Uh, let's see what the two step sounds like. You ready? Yeah. Here, give me that damn. So obviously, mechanical fuel pump, you have to tune it differently for startup. And uh, this one right here, we haven't got to that point yet. All right, go ahead and. Yeah, we, we had, so everyone that sees the smoke, we had a scavenge pump failure, which we recorded in the last video, so the backside got a little, uh, little smoky, new scavenge pump in there. Holy smokes, that thing is serious. It's not going to pull up, but it's not going to blow up. Yeah, tell them not to blow up on the chair. Did they get a believe it? No, Stump won't. I bet you he's a Stump's a smart man. He's a smart man. Oh, All he builds is I know, he's stupid. <laughs> he's actually stupid. Yo. You see the smoke? Yeah, this bitch just let go. Uh, Done. Done. We just put it on the tip and it let go. I bet it did. <laughs> no, he knows. I told you, he's a smart man. No, he's just minus, like, I bet it did. Minus the damn Civic stuff, he's a smart dude. My, I can tell the Civic glasses, like he just saw through the bottom end and said that it was good. Dude, I mean, this thing right here, this thing no, right here, this. this thing right here is going to be an oh, absolute oh. land missile. Bro, this oh. is definitely not. See, a land see what I missile, mean? what? Take it back about him being smart. He said this shit smells like pump gas. Stump, you gotta leave, bro. You gotta. You don't let the door hit you in the ass, you're out of here. <laughs> this thing right here is going to rock and roll, hashtag diff delete. God, you like, you big toed into that too. You barely rolled into it. I was watching the throttle, and you like, I normally get it like 10% and then 100. You were like slowly creeping up on it the whole way. I wanted to make sure it catch it. <laughs> it wasn't going to start pushing, huh? I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to go to 7,000. What was it set at? 3,800. Holy smokes, that's 3,800? Yeah. God dang it, boy. That thing is unbelievable. Yeah, you got on it, and I'm like, everyone at home is going to be like, oh, it's smoking. But that was that's what happens when the scavenge pump doesn't work. There's oil. There's literally no way to get that oil out of those turbos when the scavenge pump fails. Like well, we know we do it in the black sheep all the time. That's why it was smoky. Smoky. Say it again. Smoky. <laughs> yeah. That that right there is the muffin cap peeler 2000. This thing right here. Dude, they're loud. Like when they're pulling up, they're loud. There, there's gonna be diff parts you know coming through is, the trunk. You know what else is loud? What? This damn torque too. Yeah, damn torque. Too. Everyone's like, like the motor's it sounds, knocking. It sounds like pots and pans on the. Yeah, it like does sound like the drive shaft on the boosters. It does sound like pots. It's got a billet torque tube in it, and that thing just makes hell of a noise. But holy smokes, there's, I can. Uh, <laughs> does Chris have RPM on speed dial? Yeah, no, no. We're, once it breaks, we're going straight axle. Oh, so you better. Yeah. So it's going to be like one and done, baby. All this work, one pass, ben, get the truck, four link. Get the tape measure. Four link. <laughs> That's why he's happy I got those sanders. <laughs> so he'll have something to measure off of. Oh, man, this thing is going to be insane. Uh, ben, real quick, how awful is this thing going to be? It's going to be pissed 180 first gear. Yeah, it's going to be leaving baby soft. Yeah. And the power is going to come in. It's going to go, this is going to be a test of your power management skills. <laughs> this is like Ben's training aid right here. <laughs> All right, so right before my camera so rudely died, 
Uh, ben was saying it needs like a 169. We like to run that a little bit longer first gear so we can bring the power in so it's less steep of a boost curve. But I think for this thing on its setup, it's probably not going to be turned up for quite a while. It's probably going to go plenty fast turned all the way down. And I mean, it is just, yeah, it's the right now the motor trumps everything. I mean, this, this, the black sheep motors that Kevin and the guys at TCAM are putting together are absolutely insane. Ben, I'd like to say they're our brainchild. Because we talked about doing this for how long? Putting together a high compression, good running bottom end. And uh, Kevin and the guys knocked it out of the park. And now they're offering it in many different variations. But the camshaft that Kevin put in this thing, the Black Sheep Cam, tops it off. I mean, it's just absolutely badass. It's a big-ass hydraulic roller cam. It sounds mean and rowdy, and it is. And, uh, I mean, everything just works so well together. It's just very balanced. And this one's on cathedral port heads, so you have that option whether you want to do LS3 heads or LS7 heads or cathedral port heads, or you want to do a set of cannon valve mass mose heads. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's God when you start it up. for twins, especially like big turbine housing. When you start it up, it's just like beating your chest. Yeah. I mean, I was worried because I don't think the twin turbo stuff sounds nearly as good as the single turbo stuff does, because like the single turbo stuff like chops real hard, but. You, hell, the black sheep cam don't care if it's single or twins. I've literally done it again. Like, there's not, a, there's not many cars out there that sound like that one. There's not many that sound like this one. No, well, they sound like each other now. They're brothers. They, they are brothers. They're a little different, but well, that's, I think they that, sound way better than any turbo car. You go to the track, you can tell when it's a turbo LS all day long. Yeah. When this car fires up, when that car fires up, does not, what is that? does not sound like a turbo LS. And that is what you get when you're on that black sheep bottom end, that black sheep camshaft. Even the lamb cam. The lamb cam does sound like a, a, a you know, stock, but we're doing it on stock motors. And, uh, but the lamb cam is a, a badass cam as well. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's nothing crazy. absolutely insane. So, uh, Ben, hey, badass work. And uh, when you guys see this car go down track, just know Ben's put his blood, sweat, and tears. A lot of time, a lot of effort. And that's why it looks so good. That's why it'll run so good. And, um... I, I know you're proud of this. It holds the radiator, the front end up. Look at the gap between it and the radiator. It looks like it came right? Yeah. No, I mean, I was just saying, like, everything's got clamps on it. Everything's got heat sleeves, spark plug. I mean, everything. Like, down, It's it just looks awesome. Very good job. Very good job. So, this is what you get when you come to BDE. So, um, I guess the next thing is... Just gotta throw the interior back in it, and uh, and now are we going hub dyno, chassis dyno? It, it might, listen, I know what's gonna happen. We're gonna be like hub dyno goes up there, lays a crazy number down. We're like, turn it up, turns it up, breaks diff. <laughs> is that not some shit that we do? Yeah. That's some shit we do. I wonder how tough the diff is. Well, we're about to find out. This will test it. Do you understand?